Today's fires are a tragic reminder the devices we use to keep us warm on these bitterly cold nights can turn against us. Yeah, but it doesn't have to happen. Tonight, Local 15's Darren Singleton takes a closer look at space heaters and the one rule you absolutely must follow if you want to keep your family safe and warm. Three house fires on a sub-freezing morning just hours and miles apart. And while investigations continue, Johnny White knows exactly what started his. There was a space heater that was sitting in the front. I believe that's what popped and hit that couch. Hit that couch and just just blaze just, like, just that quick. Just that quick. And Johnny's right. Look at this example from the Indianapolis Fire Department. This little TV sitting area is about to go up in flames. And why? Because a sheet or a blanket gets carelessly caught over the front of a space heater. And it doesn't take long for that warm and orange glow of heat to become the bright flame of a potentially deadly house fire. Steve Huffman of Mobile Fire Rescue says a space heater can be an effective form of supplemental heat. But remember, you're literally playing with fire. Uh, typically what we'll see is curtains, chairs, bedding, things like that that are sitting too close to the heater. thing to keep in mind about space heaters, they need space. How much space? I'm placing this space heater in what looks to me to be plenty of room. But Huffman says, no, I need more space. They need a three-foot clearance all the way around the heater itself uh, to prevent it from catching anything on fire. Don't put anything near. Anything. That's the big rule. Nothing within three feet. And I'll give you one more. Never leave a space heater on when you leave home or go to bed. You might come home to this or wake up to this if you even wake up at all. In Mobile, Darwin Singleton, Local 15 News.